The last one is a shampooer, and you're gonna like that because it's very easy. Do you normally, how do you shampoo the rugs? Do you pay somebody or you rent the machine out? Uh, both, sometimes we pay somebody, sometimes we rent the Expensive. Okay, well the nice thing is that you have your own with the rainbow shampooer. And let me go ahead and put that one together real quick, and then so I show you how that one works. All right, what I want to do is just show you the exhaust of what blew out of the machine. Check this out. See nothing. You see that? Mm -hmm. So in other words, remember how you said you wanted a clean house, clean condition? Yeah. That's how you get it. With the rainbow, everything stays mm -hmm. right down inside the uh, water. So that's the clean exhaust. Put that here. Okay, now this is the shampooer. Uh, for this part, what I'm going to do is empty the, the water we just vacuumed up from your carpet. We're going to dump it right into here. This is called the vacuumable dirt. The dirt you can vacuum out with the rainbow. Right. But it's the dirt that the other vacuums leave behind. See that? Okay, that's serious. All right, so I'll put it right on the side. Now, for the shampooer part, we start empty. You don't need any water in the water container. Clip it together. Put it back on the wheels. Okay. And then this is the jug. What you do is very simple. You add water on both sides. But on one side, and it's indicated, it uh, has a bar of soap. That's the part that you put a little bit of soap in. Let me grab the soap out of here. Okay. And what you do is you put a cap full, and that's it. It's ready. Okay, so that's the setup. And it has two um, little bottle caps. And what you do is just twist them on, and, and it's, we're golden. Okay. All right, got that one. And... This is the uh, shampooer head. Once you have it filled with water and shampoo, push this down and it's ready. We're going to use the same hose. What you do, if you look up here, you disconnect it and then slide it off the track. And then if you look at the bottom here, it has a little button. Just press the button. That releases the power brush. And then what you do, is push it into the shampooer head and then last you plug it into here so that's the setup okay we're gonna do a little spot and then the hose you remember how it goes in right just lift up the little window and it's ready to go okay now. Actually, look up here first, you squeeze the trigger, that activates it. So you press the trigger. See the stuff coming up? Wow, look at that car. The next step is rinse. You push it just once. Now it's going to rinse your rug. And then the last and final, it's not doing anything but extracting. That's how easy it is. Isn't that amazing? Can you see the stuff coming up? You do right and just keep going over that spot until you don't see anything hardly coming up. See, it's a lot easier than renting it at the store. Alright. There it is. For maintenance, very simple. Flip this upside down. Disconnect up here. Push the button. Stop the water, the excess. Now you connect it back and, and hide it. What you want to do is let it run for about two or three minutes. What that's doing is drying the hose in the pipe out. And then look how easy this comes off. You would rinse that and that's it. So that's the shampooer. Let it run like that for a minute. I'm going to put it on the side here. you release the wheels press the button and let's take a look mm, look at that 
Isn't that insane? Wow. Now, this is called the non-vacuumable dirt. Dirt you can't vacuum out. And then this one is called the vacuumable dirt. Which one of these you want to get out of the house? Both. Or both? Yeah. Yeah, right about that. Okay. Now, that, there it is. And the only way to do that is with the rainbow.